Hi, my name is Margaret Houlihan and this is What is in a Tune? And the tune I've picked today is called Lady Mackenzie of Gerlach, which is a Stratsbay, and it's in Donald MacLeod Book One, and it's his setting. And what I like about this tune is the technique, the Stratsbay technique that is in here, and I like to give this to students um, even just as a, a technical exercise, um, but also it's it's a lovely tune. Um, so technically what I like about it is, for example, in bar one, we've got the dot cut, dot cut, kind of bouncy Stratsbay rhythm that is required to make a tune, a Stratsbay sound like a Stratsbay. So bar one. <laughs> And what can sometimes make the Strasby sound a little bit um, too round or too square is if we're too heavy on those short low A notes. So for example, you want to try to avoid. So I like to use that bar to get um, students really getting the nice lift and the, the dot cut expression in a Strasby. Um, so that's one thing I really like about this tune and also I like the Strathbay doublings and you, you have some standalone Strathbay doublings in this tune so for example in bar uh, four we've got and that's um, a very common Strathbay doubling and we've also got so I like um, really trying to get uh, students bringing across that really sharp Strathbay doubling rhythm, the da-da-dums, I call them. And um, what I also like about this tune is it makes controlling the Strathbay doublings a little bit more difficult because we have some four note sequences. So for example, going from the end of bar one into bar two, we have a four note sequence here. <laughs> So we've got a dotted um, eighth note or, or quaver, and then we've got two short notes that follow that. Um, and the second short note is part of the Strathbay doubling. So it's even harder to control a Strathbay doubling when you're cutting onto the doubling and also cutting off of it. So I would tend to circle these four note sequences, and they're really a great sequence to practice to really get good control and rhythm here. So I'll play the ones where I uh, that I would be circling. So going from the last note of, or the two last notes of bar one into bar two. So you wanna just take care that the two short notes, the D and the B coming through equally. And we have another one then going from bar three in, or sorry, not three into bar four. We've got it bar uh, one, two, three, three into four. We've got the same one again, actually. And then in the second part, if we look at bar one, we've got and bar two. And these are not easy to control. Um, so the that's another thing I, I like. It's, it's a challenge for, for students, uh, these passages. And also, there's nice sharp cuts off of burls up to high A's, and that's another really important thing um, for Strathbay playing. So for example, when you get to some of the line endings, we've got the last phrase. <laughs> get that nice cut up to the high A off of the burl. Um, then also the triplets that are in this tune, so the fourth part for example and the second part have lots of triplets. So again triplets, these are important to have good control of your triplets, uh, especially in Strathspeys where we can often find quite a lot of them. So the triplet just always aiming to start it on the beat and try not to fall off the end of it, just give it a little bit of space before you hit the, 
the next note that follows the triplet. So the start of the four part. <laughs> Now I'll play the complete tune, Lady Mackenzie of Gerlach. I think it's a, it's a great tune um, to improve Strathspey playing and technique.